This is infrared and we're on the A train so that you don't have to be. This is one of the very newest cars in the subway system. There are only a few of them and they're only running on the A train currently. Um, I forgot the model number. I think it's like a R279. And you can see they're much more digital than their predecessor model, which also currently runs on the A9. Oh, I like the flashing red lights when the door closes. <laughs> and maybe it would be fun to see the reaction on the faces of passengers as the doors open and they realize they're on a brand new train, a brand new generation of train. It's Monday, August 28th, 1.30 p.m., a cloudy day in the mid-70s. This is Cambridge Street. Please being on this car for 45 minutes noticing some of the features that make it different from subway cars that were built just a few years ago the doors are wider but because the doors are wider each uh, set of seats can only seat five people instead of six on the older trains, the older new trains. Uh, there are security cameras installed in the car, but only over the two middle sets of doors. And the windows are narrower because the doors are wider and more of that area is needed to house the door when it's open. And finally, the seats that are priority seating for persons with disabilities are yellow. Oops, punch list item.
that's our trip on the newest subway models, I think R279. I have to say when the newest models came out 50 years ago, a little over 50 years ago, the R44s, and I was in college at the time, and I stayed up until 1 o'clock in the morning uh, because I knew that that's when that train was going to pass through Columbus Circle, and I got on it and I rode it all the way out to Lefferts Boulevard and back, a local train. This was easier. This is infrared, and this is what you've been watching. <laughs>